Hey guys, welcome back to Little Mitch Stitches. I'm Stephanie and I don't know where this last year has gone. Well, I guess not really the last year since the beginning of the year, half a year. <sighs> the school year beat my butt and I cannot believe that Tour de Flea starts tomorrow. I, where, where did the year go so far? I feel like it's just been one thing after another and Tour de Flea has snuck up on me and I am not prepared for it. <laughs> so that being said, Tour de Flea starts tomorrow and um jack's just finished his school year of pre-k uh last friday and i thought oh i have a nice little break before anything happens no boom tour de fleece i was not ready for it we're gonna try to do this again it went well last year let's see if we can keep up with it this year um so my goal well let's start with actually rewind for anyone who's new tour de fleece is a spinning not competition a spinning challenge that runs along with the tour de france um sorry there's a piece of fuzz floating in my face um so the idea is that you challenge yourself to either spin a certain project try a new fiber every day spin for a certain amount of time every day whatever it is challenge yourself and try to spin every day during the the tour de france so there are usually, I think, two rest days and at least one or two challenge days that follow along with, with the rest days and the more challenging days of the Tour de France. I don't know what those days are yet. I don't know. I just know it's tomorrow. I think it ends, uh, it's my calendar, on the 24th. 24th. So July 1st through 24th. We can do this, right? I haven't touched my spinning wheel since the end of Tour de Fleece last year, as promised. Have not dropped spindles, have not spun on my wheel. Cannot believe it's already been a year. But as usual, that seems to be what happens. Tour de Fleece is what gets me excited about spinning again and motivates me to get my button gear and get moving. So I've got my wheel here. Uh, let's see if I can turn it a little. That's exactly what was on there last year that I was spinning. Also the bobbin that I was just holding is the red fiber that I spun last year. The singles are still sitting here. So I think my goals this year are going to be, my goal is always to just spin every day that the challenge is going. Spin extra on the challenge days and take a break on the break days. I have this, so I think my intention with this is going to be to obviously ply it. I had, I think it was two ounces in that bat and I think I am just going to Andy and ply it. I think that's what it's called. I don't know if there is any other terms for it, um, but it's where you wind it off the bobbin onto your hand. And the unsuccessful part for me with this in the past has been that I wind it too tight on my hand and my <laughs> cut off circulation. It's good for small amounts. I, this might be a little too much. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I'll do a two ply one end to the other. If that doesn't really seem to be working out, I'll just um, take it off on a ball winder and uh, apply from the inside and outside. I don't like doing that though because it tends to get tangled. Um, I did watch a video from the YouTube um, creator Jillian, I think it's Jillian Eve. She has a whole channel on spinning and she did a, like a little study of if pulling from the inside and the outside of the ball to ply affects your yarn at the end because you're theoretically extra twisting one end and untwisting the other if i remember correctly either way she did a whole study on it it really didn't make that big of a difference it did make a little difference you could see it a little bit if you were looking for it but i'll link that because it was a good video um anyway that's what this is gonna be so that will be one day that'll be quick and easy i obviously want to finish plying what was on my oh that's what i think i was saying i'm going to finish spinning what was on my bobbin from last year that i was working on still which is this is all i think i have left so this was a fiber from witch crafty lady it's super wash pullworth which i'd never spun before i remember it being nice that's about all i remember <laughs> uh and i had the label for that yarn fiber for that fiber actually in a bag with this is some fiber I spun that was just a nitpicks. I don't remember what it was. It was like a basic 
wool of theirs. And I was going to apply this against this. So that is the plan for what's already on my bobbins. And I have two bobbins of this. Ooh, uh, hmm. I have two bobbins of this. Only one bobbin of this one so far. And I know from previous experience that I cannot fit eight ounces onto one bobbin. So I don't, I'll have to weigh this and see what I have left. Otherwise I'll have to break it part way through. Ugh, did not think about that. I might just spin this all onto one bobbin and then break it when I need to in the middle of flying because I don't think that my bobbins of the purple nitpicks look very even. I feel like this one has slightly more on it. But who knows, you never know when we're flying what's gonna happen. So that's what's unfinished from last year on my wheel. If I finish all of that, I don't know what I'm gonna spin. Because I actually think I'm just about out of fiber. So if I finish that, I guess I'm done with my wheel. I know I'm going to be spinning on my drop spindle because I have Here's my little drop spindle bag. I have this on my drop, my Turkish spindle. Mommy! Yes, Benji. Yeah. Okay. Last year, right around Tour de Fleece, I had to order a new center shaft for this because the other one broke in multiple places. I had actually taped it back together with like shipping tape or scotch tape or something. And it was still working, but then it broke more. And I think the plastic was just brittle. The one that I had was um, glow in the dark. This was a glow in the dark piece, so it was white looking. Um, I didn't spin in the dark. I don't need a glow in the dark piece. So I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I just got, I think she just gave me whatever she gave me because I don't think I actually picked a color and I didn't really care. Um, so I have this. I don't even know what fiber's on here. This is the fiber. I feel like this might have been, um, Forbidden Fibers, but I'm not sure. It's from when she was Forbidden Fibers. She's, no, she was she was Forbidden Willery. Switched her name to Forbidden Fibers. She had done a fiber or yarn club. It was my first ever knitting related club. And I got the fiber because I had plenty of yarn at the time. So I figured, oh, let me get the fiber. And um, I think this was one of the fibers from that. It was um, all different kinds of apples. So there was a red one, there was a lime green one, and then this one. So this is what I will spin on here. And then I have my drop spindle, my regular drop spindle, which if you watched last year's vlog, you might remember when I had to take some fiber or some uh, yarn off of my drop spindle and I used the stick that I found on the ground while Jax was at camp. Yeah, yep, that's, that's what I did. Anyway, this is, um, there's not much spun on here just yet so this will keep me busy and this is the rest of the bump so I got plenty to go on here so this should keep me busy for the rest of this tour de fleece I think now the reason why I'm looking at my drop spindles especially is because in a week less than a week I'm going away so I can't bring my wheel with me. Actually, I probably could if I felt like it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to bring my drop spindles. So that will be two spinning projects to keep me busy. While we are away, we are going to Niagara Falls for a family event. And um, yeah, so I'll be spinning this. I'll be spinning this in Niagara Falls. We went to Niagara Falls three years ago. It's for a high school graduation party for my cousin's son. Three years ago, we went for her other son's graduation party, and um, I was spinning this fiber for Tour de Fleece then on my drop spindle. Same bump. Yeah. That tells you how long it takes me to spin anything, especially on my drop spindle. So that's what I'm going to be working on during Tour de Fleece. At least as of now, I... I don't think I'll finish all of that. I will probably get bored of the drop spindle though and want to go back to my wheel 
And if I run out of things on my wheel, I, I don't know. I think I have one other like bump. This bump is from uh, Long Island Yarn and Farm. Um, I think I have another one up in my cabinet from Long Island Yarn and Farm. Not entirely sure though. I'll have to double check it. Um, all right, so now I'm going to clean my wheel. I haven't cleaned it, touched it. Well, I haven't touched it in a year. So it's kind of uh, grungy. It has accumulated lots of dust. Let's see if I can lift it up and show. Can you see the layer? Look at, look at like the piles, the piles of dust. It just needs a wipe down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, these are cloth diaper inserts. So this is uh, theoretically what would absorb all the pee when your kid goes to the bathroom in a cloth diaper, but they're microfiber. So they're great for cleaning. They're not really that great at being cloth diapers, surprisingly. So I'm going to wipe off the, all the dust and then I am going to spray it with some Murphy oil, which is what I used last year to clean it. Uh, no, yes, sort of. Last year I did like an intense cleaning. Um, and that one I, I took apart pieces and stuff. I never cleaned my wheel. Um, and it, uh, oh, I oiled it. That's what I did. I had to oil the wheel, the, the wood. I had to oil the wood of the wheel because I had never done that and it needed a little loving. So I'm going to do the Murphy's oil just to clean it up a little bit. My wheel is, let's see. Shacked makes, um, imprints the serial number and the date of manufacture on all of their wheels. And my wheel is LB for Ladybug, which is the type of wheel I have. 05, 18, 2012. I always remember the date because it is my brother's birthday and it is also Benji's birthday. Uh, and my serial number is 2765. And let's find my Ladybug. Eek. Let's see. Right there. There's my Ladybug. There's all the cat hair and dust that we're going to clean up now. Yay! I am using this cloth dry. There's nothing wet on it. It's just microfiber is very staticky. Let's see. Can see so much dust underneath it. We gotta flip it over. Oh. Gross. All right, so the instructions for the Murphy oil say to spray it on the cloth and then wipe. So we're gonna just, oh, come on. Is it turned off? It just leaked all over the floor and now it won't spray. I think, I think I went through this last year, actually. I think it was broken last year. And look, I totally forgot. That was probably too much, but it'll be okay. It's all absorbed in that cloth diaper anyway. So I'm just gonna wipe it all down. Oh no, somebody was playing with my wheel because my spring is broken. These children. <sighs> I'm gonna have to fix that now. Bobbins are plastic, so I do not oil them.
touching my wheel and destroyed the spring for my brake band. <sighs> so it should be attached here and they must have been playing with it or touching it. And now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I will just cut it off, rebend a little hook like this, and it'll just be a little shorter. That's okay, it'll still work. Ugh, I have this behind a baby gate and everything. I don't even know how either of them would have reached it. But nice and wiped down, nice and clean, almost ready to go. Okay, we will see how well this works. I'm sorry for the wobbling. I'm holding the tripod with my legs as I'm trying to do this. Ow. If I could grab the wire. Oh, there we go. So that's the stretched out part of the um, coil, the spring. And now I need to just bend this so that there's a hook. Easy to grab, let's see. That's the best I can get the camera to focus. Let's see if I can grip this now and I'm stuck on my drive band. I'm trying to bend it up. There we go. It's not, man, this thing is firmer than I was anticipating. Oh, there we go. Ha ha. Let's see. If I can get it. All right, I got to get. It. Okay. Let's see now. If I can get it on here. I think I might have left a little too small of a hole. Eek. Let's open that up a little better. Ooh. Yay! It's as fixed as it's gonna be. I mean, it's prettier looking than the other end. <laughs> I can tighten it. That's, oh, that's loose. That's tight. All right, and there we go, that's fixed. All right, I think my wheel is ready to go. I will oil it, um, oil the moving parts tomorrow when I go to use it. Yay! All right, that's that for today. I gotta clean all this stuff up before my kids come near it. And tomorrow we spin. I can't wait. I gotta look up the calendar tonight too. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to Little Mitch the Jersey. Mommy! <laughs> I found the wash, the wash bag, the wash bag, and the treasure. You found the lost button of treasure? Yeah. What is that? Treasure? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and it's a pirate. And, and it's a pirate that live in North America. Pirates that live in North America? Yeah. They live here. Oh. Just, he just lives so far away from us here. Okay. Yeah.